Hi Pisces, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, first, oh, we've got two. Feminine's gonna receive some messages, so this could be you. Okay, so knowledge. I wrote on there, messages, info, it's like the Ace of Swords to me with that card coming out. What else, one more? Okay, so you're being guided. The universe is trying to show you something, give you a message. Um, all right, let's clarify that, since we're here. What does Pisces need to know? Something's going to come in quickly, Pisces. It could be communication from a water sign or Sagittarius. Okay. Hang on for a minute, because we're going into Sagittarius season. So it may be around the 22nd, which is going to be in a few days. All right, so... It could be from a Sagittarius as well. I'm not sure if I said that. But it seems to be something that's going to be unexpected with Nine of Swords, I'm feeling, or very quick. It's going to come in very exciting. Kind of good if you see like an owl or an eagle, like the card shows, or maybe a, um, what's the other one? Hawk. I know, just know that there's like somebody, it feels like somebody watching you and thinking about you right now. Sending you, or they're also showing me a condor, which I know is named something else, to a vulture. But something kind of big up in the sky. You might see a large bird, and, and just know that someone is thinking about you and watching you, in a sense, and wants to reach out. So you're going to be receiving some sort of communication, some sort of knowledge. This card says your angels are guiding and protecting you on your journey. This is a spiritual journey. So you are, are stepping into like maybe a new phase. Communication is going to come in. It does look like it's to me. It's from someone that you do know with this knowledge information. Four of swords, five of coins, and the strength card. It could be someone is thinking about you, missing you. Someone could find you very attractive as well. The nine of coins it might be a Leo. Someone may be having dreams about you. So you may have a dream about someone coming up here. Uh, someone very specific that maybe you haven't even thought of recently. Messages, yeah, messages. So Justice tells me these are this is like messages that you deserve. It could be an apology. Five of Cups is under there. So if you feel like you deserve an apology or someone should be reaching out, Justice tells me that yeah, you you should be getting this. And this is like the next phase or next step in this connection. Under the deck, again, you see the page of swords, right? So it's I definitely get someone is watching you. Now you may be sad five of cups or this is them. I, I do feel like they may feel a little guilty if they have hurt you in the past, if they said something. I think someone avoided you on your birthday as well. This feels like birthday energy here. So nine of cups, six of wands, and the fool. It feels like a party, a celebration or something. So I'm not sure if you were there or not there, or they had a party without you or something, and they were missing you. This person may have even possibly tried to make you jealous at one point. Might be a Gemini or a an Aquarius, but doesn't need to be. All right, what is going on for Pisces? What is this energy? Let me flip this deck. Divine intervention, karma, supernatural, natural. What else? Still hoping something here. Still hoping for a fresh start, and one more. Someone is coming, and someone is thinking of you. So definitely something about is, something, let me get it together here. Okay, so divine intervention is a big card when it comes out. Tell me, yeah, again, spirit is working on this. They have their hand in this connection. They're trying to make something happen or show you something. What is this divine intervention? And again, it may be for somebody else, lovers, fool, ace of cups, and the four of wands. Wow. This is brand new love. This is a brand new beginning. Maybe, okay, so maybe this is not an ex or anybody like that. Maybe this is somebody that there was not a connection at the time. Listen to your intuition, worrying, walking away, feeling weighed down. Someone who wants to start with you, start over with you. All right, this is kind of choppy. All right, it's not really what I was expecting, but that's okay. It doesn't matter what I'm expecting. This is what's coming out. Divine intervention, though. When I saw that, it's kind of like, wow. So this is like something spirit is working on for you to have faith. Have faith. Someone or something is coming towards you. You're going to find out some information that maybe you were not expecting. 
Someone could be missing you right now, keeping an eye on you, thinking about you. Message is Eight of Wands. The outcome is the Star card. So again, have hope. You're on the right path or just keep doing what you're doing. Maybe an Aquarius again. doesn't need to be just because the card shows up, of course. So, yep. So it's coming straight towards you. It could be a fire sign or someone with a lot of um, passionate energy for you. And the outcome is one of my date cards. I do read, the, read this, as you guys know, as a date card because someone's paying for something or going out. Could be giving you a gift. I feel like for a few of you, it may have something to do with a birthday, birthday wish. Like they missed your birthday. Yeah, maybe it's for their birthday if they're a Sagittarius. Uh, maybe they want to invite you to something. But they want a brand new beginning with Ace of Coin. An offer. Feeling sad. They've been stuck. You're happy. That Pisces, you're happy. Again, could be a Leo. And one more, please. Nine of coins, giving you gifts, giving you nice things, treating you well. This person has been stuck in this energy. Five of swords, five of cups. So maybe they did something to try to hurt your feelings or five of swords is like, I'm right. Pisces is wrong, possibly, something like that. But now they feel bad for that. They feel guilty for acting that way. Okay, let's go to a different deck. Who is this person? What can you tell us about this person? Um, they are trustworthy, sexy passionate they're not over you one more curvy so again you're on their mind and in their heart okay what does pisces need to know teddy bear so interested in you blooming romance flirting and wanting to date it's exactly what the tarot reading is showing and again pisces you seem to be very happy so again, divine intervention, brand new love, catalyst, karma. So again, someone coming back around that seems like they've missed their chance the first time. They didn't grab it. Um, maybe there was an argument, maybe with somebody else. What would this person say to Pisces? I want to feel that way again. I saved all your texts and messages. Do I still have a chance and I'm not over you? Okay. Did that come out here? Yes, it's not over you. So it's in both. Wow. All right, what does Pisces need to know? What does this person want you to know but wouldn't tell you? What do you need to know about this person? No one is ever going to replace how I feel about you. You feel like home to me. I love you with all my heart and soul. I'm sorry for breaking your trust. And one more, please. I wish I could treated you better. Some of you may be dating somebody else. I'm kind of getting like there's this feeling here. Obviously, they're worried about you moving on. They're worried about this person could be a smart ass. This person could be, you know, five of swords thinking that they're right and you're wrong and waiting for you to come back. But you didn't. Uh, there could have been an argument. They could have said something again that was like rude. I'm kind of getting. Um, there was something here where I don't know. But these cards, it kind of makes it look like they treated you poorly, and now they are really regretting that. So whether you want them back or not, I do feel like some of you may meet someone else now pulling these cards and make this person, you know, obviously worried or jealous or sad because they blew their chance with you, Pisces. So again, air knowledge, I get like, the, there are messages, like spirits stepping in here because oh, they don't like how this person treated you. They don't like what went down, something like that again. It's part of the, you know, process or journey, I guess you could say. What is Pisces advice? What is your advice, Pisces? So this, I think this person is learning a lesson. I will say that. Like again, they may come in with like some extravagant gifts or something or try to do something for you. Yeah, I don't know how you feel about this person coming back, but this person definitely still hopes for this. Okay, now they're saying release your ex, which is interesting because I saw that in the deck as I was shuffling and I felt like that was important, but yet I don't know if there is an ex involved. Because it says the time has come to clear your energy. The other card that came out is love yourself first. Trust, Pisces, trust. Also... You have a wedding and keep an open mind. So someone may get married. Someone may want to marry you. All right. 
going to go to this deck and just put one card here. What does Pisces need to know about this connection with this person? Cleaning up. Clean it up. Cleaning it up. Getting to the basics. Fixing this. I feel like there's something this person needs to do in order to clean it up. To say. To apologize. To fix things. To make things right. Because I do feel like they've hurt you. Number 21. So... All right, I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Have a really great weekend.